Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another TTF Hurricane Oh Look and Discussion for September. I presume the 7th. Yes, I am correct. 2022. Now we have a lot to talk about. We have Hurricane Earl, which can bring tropical storm impacts to Bermuda. There is a there is a tropical storm warning in effect for Bermuda. But I do believe that there's a chance that they that it can be potentially a upgraded to a hurricane one whereas they might feel hurricane like impacts. So let's take a look at and we also have a 40% chance and a 30% chance of development. 10 to 30% chance of development in the Atlantic. Now for the first ones, I'm going to be using this application here before I move on to the next one. Now, Hurricane Earl has maximum is at 970 and moving north at 6 miles per hour and it has a minimum central pressure of 970 millibars with a steam of 85 miles per hour. Now, we're going to keep this brief and short. Now, there is tropical storm one is in effect for Bermuda and it is expected to be a major hurricane as it passes Bermuda which means that depending on how close it can be because the cone only tells you the area it might be in and 50% of the time it's outside of the cone and sometimes it is directly in the cone so just because you're not in the cone that doesn't mean that you won't have some impacts I expect heavy rain and flooding in low lying areas to be Okay. Now guys, sorry guys if you hear any background noises because I am on the road. I'm recording this and I'm going in Wi-Fi in a moment too. Well, I'm in Wi-Fi right now, but I'm just outside recording this video. So, this is an intermediate advisory for Earl National Hurricane Center. They found strong, a little stronger winds. Which is why it's maximum sustained winds of 85 miles per hour moving at 6 miles per hour. Now, the storm tropical storm warnings is in effect for Bermuda. A tropical storm warning means that tropical storm conditions are expected within the next 36 hours. Now, you can read this on the screen as I pass it through. I won't be copying this, this will take up too much space. But we have hurricane oil. This is the forecast discussion advisory. Now there is some strong westerly wind shear that continues to affect Earl, but it, it is still rather organized and and that's why they say it is good. Now it is now they do say that the um now there is suggestions that because of some of the wind shear it went down from what they say with a minimum central pressure of uh, 978 they did say that it might have come up to about 981 millibars which is not too shabby if you see here 978 they did find 9 81 millibar minimum central pressures now it is expected to become a 125 mile per hour hurricane which is a major hurricane now look at looking taking a look at the picture of Earl now Earl is a water beauty of Earl now do I have any concerns for Earl yes I do now although they say that it can bring impacts to Bermuda all of y'all in the, the southern Bahamas, I believe, or the eastern Bahamas, and Hispaniola and Puerto Rico should be on the lookout for maybe some, maybe depending on if any bombs is able to reach you, some some rain, some rain, and maybe just rough surf today because it can produce large swells and rough surf intensity model. Now it is expected to become a major hurricane. Some suggest it could become a category 4 hurricane before rapidly decreasing in intensity. 
taking a look at the long wave infrared satellite imagery now Earth is rather organized but you can see that there's a little bit of westerly shear impacting the storm which is why you see that little tuft yeah that that is shear that is potentially impacting the storm now let's take a look at the end now let's take a look at the um, wind speed now although Puerto Rico did not get any they got plenty of heavy rain and flooding they might not have had plenty of wind but rain and flooding now let's take a look at the wind speed probabilities now as you can see the chances for Bermuda is very high of getting tropical storm force conditions very high it is no answer for but even if they don't get hurricane force conditions now if it moves more north northwest I believe it is it has a chance to potentially impact them with hurricane force winds taking a look at Hurricane Danielle we're gonna take a look at it at a brief moment for a brief moment now Hurricane Danielle is a, is it is the hurricane force wind field is rather decent I should say the tropical storm force winds is big this is a rather compact tight storm and it is packing wings of 80 miles per hour with a, and is moving at 16 miles per hour now we not gonna go at, into the forecast discussion but later on down the line it does have the potential to impact England now look take a look at the visible satellite geosector imagery. Wow, look at Hurricane Danielle. Hurricane Danielle is a beauty. And you can see what looks like an eye. Now Hurricane Danielle is expected to decrease down to a tropical storm. Now take a look at the infrared satellite imagery. The infrared satellite imagery shows that Hurricane Danielle kind of have an eye it's not completely closed off but it is like an eye a big eye now here's the part that um is expected to take it's expected to do a li well not england well spain portugal spain well it's expected to do a loop turn and head to spain which means but to portugal which means that Hey, it might still be a tropical storm as it reaches Spain potentially. And I'm, I'm and I just opened it up again to kind of show you. Look at that. Now taking a look at the wind speed probabilities, you can see where the hurricane force winds were. Now it had a small hurricane force wind down there and then when it rapid when it decreased back down to a tropical storm it gained its intensity and then hurricane force winds came back up. Wind speed probabilities. Now because that's far out for Portugal Spain, um it is at a moderate five percent at the moment. If it was if indeed that area still has warm waters where it's going into then it might have the potential to, to, keep, to keep its tropical storm status and make landfall as a tropical storm like wood um i believe it was lester did less was it lester i know it's something that started with a l now let's take a quick look at Invest 95L. Now it does not have. Now this app does not show do justice in showing you, but it is expected to become a hurricane, a tropical storm, and, and then become a hurricane category one. Now the track model and guidance for Invest 95L. As you can see, they show that Invest 95L will be a fish storm. It will be heading out to the northern Atlantic Ocean. Now, that's far out. 
So you'll have to take a look at that. There's nothing in the Central Pacific, nothing to worry about. Now the Eastern Pacific, where we have the future Hurricane K. Hurricane K is a Cat 2 hurricane. It's expected to become a major hurricane. Let's take a look at Hurricane K. Now there is Hurricane, there's Tropical Storm warnings in effect for, and Hurricane K just increased from, and it has a big Tropical Storm Force wind field. And it has maximum sustained winds of 100 miles per hour, 105 miles per hour, which just at 100 miles an hour storm, and now it's at 105 miles. And there is tropical storm warnings in effect for the Baja California Peninsula, whatever you want to call that area. Yes, I was right. Now, tropical storm warnings, you can read this. I'm gonna keep it up for a brief moment. I'm gonna move slowly. You can pause it as you go, you know, because I want you to see there's a hurricane warning in effect for nothing Putin for north of Puta to San Joe San Jose. I don't know how to pronounce these names. I'm not going to butcher them, but you can read through um, if I'm going too fast. But it's back heavy rain up to six to ten inches of rain. And in some places, two to four inches. And then in some places in the southwest, like Arizona, one to two inches with tropical storm force winds and potentially hurricane force winds. Now, this is the forecast discussion. Now, it is like now, okay, it's likely to straighten into a major hurricane, which it is expected to become an 110 mile per hour hurricane. Now look, taking a look at the geo sector for K. K. Look at that eye. Look at that eye. K has a big eye. Look at K. And look at all that wind. They is probably they're probably getting tropical storm force winds now. If you guys want me to um, post a video that I find on the internet of someone who may someone you know finding footage of it, then let me know because I will do that. But it does show an intensity model and guidance track that it could become a brief major hurricane which is shown here before it rapidly decreases back down to a tropical storm because of wind shear ahead of it and potentially but guys look at the infrared side of light imagery KI is rather organ defined well defined I might be dealing with some shear but well, more likely it is still strengthening, but a little bit of share won't do it. Now, look at the rainfall totals plenty of rain, rain, and, and also plenty of wind coming as it makes its approach. Look at K. K is not expected to make landfall, or it might make a brief landfall before coming back out to sea, but it is, and if it does make landfall, it might it might make the line fall but it's a little bit ways out before we can determine whether or not it's gonna make line fall but like looking at looking at this it's not expected according to this section it's not expected to become a major hurricane but I believe it still has a potential to become a major hurricane now taking a look at this here tropical storm force winds and this here is very very big Big wind field for tropical storm force winds and hurricane. Very big. Mm -hmm. Now let's take now let's go back here and let's look at that wind field. Yeah, so you have on the list for tropical storm near the next list. What the next name on the list for the Eastern Pacific would be Leicester and and the Atlantic would be Fiona and then in the Central Pacific there has not been any storm and I can't really see what it would be now going here guys to max 10 weather tracker tropics okay they're saying that that is unavailable okay 
Me va a dar un loco el video. Ok, so, so guys, I'm gonna end this video here just yet. You know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna type in tropical tidbits real quick. And the reason why I'm gonna type in tropical tidbits, T-R-O-P-I-C-A-L. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna type in tropical tidbits real quick. T tidbits real quick, rather. And the reason why I'm talking, typing in tropical tidbits is because I want to go to the forecast models and show you what is expected to happen. Oh my goodness. Guys, this is kind of this is kind of weird, guys. The GFS model is not available. The 6Z one is not available. Oh my goodness, it's not available. Wow. Let's see. Is the Euro model available? Yes, it is available. The Euro model is available. Now we're gonna um, just quickly dive into regions and we and. What I like to use is the Northern Atlantic so that you can see the whole Atlantic. Now as you can see right behind there is the 1011 millibar storm. Then you have a 995, what? Yeah, the 1010 millibar and then you have something else coming off the coast of Africa. Let's take a look real quick. I just want to end my video off on a good note. Now guys, I'm gonna have to rewind this. It's just maybe bad connection, or maybe I might do this for another video because yeah, I think I'm gonna do that for another video. But guys, we have a lot to talk about in the tropics. The tropics is really heating up. Hurricane Danielle, Hurricane Earl. Could there be a potential Hurricane Fiona? And could we potentially have tropical storm gas ship? Now guys, we did get, um, I don't know if a lot of y'all believe in prophecies and all of that, but my country was prophesied two Cat 5 back-to-back -back hurricanes. Now, when is that going to be? I don't know, but I advise people because it's hurricane season and anything is liable to happen to please be prepared. But I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. I hope it wasn't too long. Peace. No more.